This is 7 National News and in our top story. UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has opened the second phase of UAE satellite manufacturing complex. The ruler of Dubai attended the opening of the complex along with Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan and His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs. The ruler of Dubai gave the green light to start manufacturing the probe's prototypes, the Arab world's first Mars probe by 2021, marking the UAE's 50th National Day. Commenting during the launch event, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed stated that the UAE's ambition is to explore outer space. We are investing in our national caterers to lead this project and contribute in expanding our knowledge about Mars. The whole probe is a qualitative leap for UAE's scientific efforts. In the, it's the first contribution for the Arab world in this regard. The HOPE probe that was launched in 2015 will leave Earth in 2020, traveling more than 60 million kilometers in nine months and will be launched to coincide with the UAE's 50th anniversary. Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, in his capacity as Vice Chairman of the Supreme Petroleum Council on Wednesday, approved the 2030 strategy of Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed chaired the first meeting of the Council of the year 2016, where he approved ADNOC's five year business plan and operational budget while also inaugurating the new headquarters of the National Oil Company. The new plan is aimed at generating sustained strategic growth in ADNOC's upstream, midstream and downstream segments. The five-year business plan and budget includes a commitment to boost oil production by 400,000 barrels per day by 2018 to 3.5 million barrels per day. Other measures include a commitment to increase petrochemicals output by more than two and a half times to more than double petrol production and to raise fertilizers output. Commenting on the occasion, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed stated that the strategy builds on the foundations laid in the past eight months during which Adnoc embarked on a journey to evolve into a more agile and resilient company that is strategic, commercially minded and performance driven. Adnoc announced it would raise petrol production to 10.2 million tons per annum by 2022, with the addition of a new petrol and aromatic project adding 4.2 million tons per annum of gasoline and 1.4 million tons per annum of aromatics. Petrochemical production is to grow from 4.5 million tons per annum this year to 11.4 million tons per annum by 2025. Hundreds of UAE residents and nationals have marked the National Flag Day across the country by hoisting the flag at various locations across the country. Flag Day also coincides with the anniversary of the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan's assumption of office as the leader of the country. This year, the nation celebrates 12 years of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa's vision, progress and achievements and is renowned for being a good listener, modest and interested in his people, frequently conducting direct outreach through official missions. A number of events across the UAE have been announced as a part of the celebrations, which include events in Dubai Festival City and many major shopping destinations. The UAE has announced the new donation of 55 million dirhams to United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian refugees in the Near East to support the education system of the NRWA in the Gaza Strip. The move aims to ensure students get a basic education in an appropriate school environment through NRWA schools. The UAE's grant will strengthen the development of the curricula and educational skills through the provision of various types of educational materials. In addition, the grant will also cover the salaries of nearly 820 teachers, education staff and operating costs of 20 schools located in different areas in the Gaza Strip for the academic year 2016-2017. 
The grant will also enable UNRWA to provide a safe learning environment for the children of Palestinian refugees by maintaining school facilities clean and healthy, as well as educational materials such as stationeries, school bags, and other items. The total of the UAE aid to Palestine since 2011 to date has so far touched 445 million U.S. dollars. A new study by the NYU Abu Dhabi Public Health Research Center has revealed that smoking shisha at home ex exposes children and non-smokers to even more harmful pollutants than secondhand smoking from cigarettes. Air pollution was studied in 33 homes in the UAE, 11 where only shisha was smoked, 12 where only cigarettes were smoked, and 10 where there was no smoking. All pollutants assessed in the study, including carbon monoxide, CO, were found to be higher in shisha smoking homes compared to those where cigarettes were smoked. In fact, CO levels in rooms where shisha were smoked were found to be five times higher than in rooms where cigarettes were smoked, while CO levels in rooms next to where shisha was smoked were nearly four times higher compared to rooms next to where cigarettes were smoked. Officials stated that the study shows that the other non-smoking rooms were not any safer. They added that they hope the research will influence policymakers to push the better control and awareness about the dangers of smoking shisha and indoor smoking. Dubai ladies are all ready and set to go the distance at the 6th annual Dubai Women's Run on Friday, starting off and finishing at Skydive Dubai. The race is under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Chairman of the National Olympics Committee. The race starts at 7 a.m. and will cover 5K and 10K options for runners, showcasing some of the nation's most talented and well-known female runners. This year's race will also kickstart the Sun and Sands Force Fitness Fest with over 5,000 expected for the day. The event is said to have a host of activities for the family, including music, F&B and health and fitness. The run this year, according to organizers, is a celebration of women's achievements and to help inspire women to discover the positive power of exercise and making physical activity an everyday part of life for women and girls. The website is www.dubaiwomensrun.com. Uh, women have until Thursday to register and be part of the run. Uh, this is actually our sixth year. Uh, the UAE Athletic Federation is actually the federal governing body for athletics. So that would be the National Olympic team. Anything that has to do with shot putt, javelin, discus, running, etc. Uh, we founded this event back in 2010 uh, because two reasons. Number one, you know, we're in the Middle Eastern region, so we want more women to come out and feel inspired to get healthy, get active, etc. And it's very hard for our national women to come together and actually expose themselves and go out. So we wanted something that was fun, exciting, where they can come out as a team, walk together, feel empowered so they can walk, run or jog. It's their choice. And basically uh, our, our aim in the Federation is to just make women feel more inspired to work out, be healthy, exercise, um, because you know in the UAE region, it's very high level of high blood pressure and diabetes. So not to just make women feel empowered, but also to help them feel healthy. And finally, in the bulletin, music and audio fans in Dubai are in for a treat, as Porsche Designs and KEF have collaborated to develop a trio hi-fi audio systems. The new products were launched into the Dubai market by the senior representative of KEF and Char of DG. And the collaboration comes from Porsche Design's aim to deliver active noise cancelling headphones along with Bluetooth headphones and speakers, which are aimed at today's style savvy business travelers. As today's consumers look to the latest in products and the highest in quality and innovation, according to officials, Gravity One, Motion One, and Space One offer the most demanding consumers a new level of design and audio performance. Gravity One boasts 360 Listen Anywhere sound and powerful call function, while Motion One in-ear headphones have been engineered for wireless hi-fi sound, especially for those that like to exercise and move around. And lastly, Space One noise-canceling headphones eliminate external noise without affecting the details that bring music to life.